Let's talk about cables. DJ J. Buck. guys what's happening welcome back to the channel this is the first of a three-part series that I wanted to do for you guys for your cabling so today we're going to jump in but before we jump in I would just like to thank the good people over at Hosa for helping your boy out showcasing some cables and stuff today you know I'm repping the brand Hosa actually has three different versions of their cabling they have your basic cabling which usually looks just like their regular packaging they also have their Pro Series, which is a step above it. And then they have their Edge Series. Now their Edge Series is usually uh, for the extremists. If you do stuff like you're in a band, you're, in a, you're a musician, you play guitar, you play the keyboards, things like that, that's when you're gonna use the Edge Series. Now I didn't get any Edge Series cables. I just wanted to focus on what you and I will be using at some of these functions. So let's go ahead and dive right into these cables. So basically what I've gotten from these guys here is I've gotten a power IEC cable, which is your basic plug, but this is a 25 footer. I've got their pro series of an XLR cable, which is a 20 footer. All right, I've got a couple of DMX cables here. Now these are just 15 feet of DMX. I've also got an IEC plug here which is one that will allow you to be able to plug in multiple devices side by side and we'll go over that i've got a double quarter inch to stereo 25 millimeter connection i've got a quarter inch to an xlr female which is a 10 foot cord i'm also using a quarter inch to male xlr on here and i've got a five foot dmx cable and lastly i've got some microphone sanitizer some screen cleaner and headphone cleaner right here that will come in handy as well all right, so today's video, we're gonna work on wire management. So today we're just gonna focus on how the cabling and everything should be rolled up before, after an event. So our cable management part of the series here, I've actually went and bought a couple of these Velcros. Uh, times you guys have seen me use these on some wires and stuff already as some functions. Um, but I use these to be able to manage my cables when they're in the bags so that they don't come undone and you don't have one big nest of wires. So let's go ahead and get them open and let's get cracking. So one of the reasons I wanted to start with cable management and everything first is because when you first get a cable, it's not out of gig. First thing you're going to do is take it out of the package when you get it and then you want to make sure that you got them all managed and stuff with the other cable and everything you have. Now, a lot of this stuff can be replaced for what you currently have. So you can either use the ties and stuff from that or you can just start your management from this. I recommend this highly for DJs just starting out as well as some of the vets to make sure that you prolong the life of your cable. It's very important that we prolong these things because these things are not cheap. All right, so basically your wire and everything comes out and this is what it looks like. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you get this in the tightest position possible for you to be able to have this cable managed and everything in your bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of the Velcros. Velcros don't have any specific meaning as far as color. I just like them to have different variations of color. That way it's easy to look in the bag. Now you can organize these a little bit better by using specific colors for certain wires, that way you know which one you want to use. But me personally, I know exactly what I want to use out of most of these bags. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach the Velcro onto the end of the actual cable. All right, just like so. Then, now, these techniques are different for DJ, so I'm gonna put a disclaimer right here. And it basically just explains that you may use it a certain way, I'm just giving the way that I use. I appreciate all the comments that's probably gonna come off of this, but remember, this is just what I use. So, 
First thing we want to do, and the first thing I like to do, is I like to kind of get it in a lasso effect. So I take it and I just pretty much just put it in a loop. So you get a loop right here. I'm pretty much taking my right hand and just pushing it into a loop. And I do that over and over and over until you get the wire all the way up. So now this is what you have. Almost looks like what it looked like when it first came out of the package. So now I take my Velcro tie and I wrap it right around the middle of the cord here. And now you've got a perfectly Velcroed wire. You can take this wire, drop it right in the bag, and when you need it, it comes out just like this. You pretty much take the Velcro off, and you're ready to rock and roll. All right, so now we wanna move over to some thicker cable, because sometimes at night, some of you guys like to wrap this thing up pretty thick and stuff like that. I, I don't personally like to do that, However, I do have some longer cables and stuff that I do have to do this for. So let's show you how to wrap these. All right, so I've got it all undone here. We're gonna take another one of your Velcros. I'm gonna use a red one this time. And I'm gonna undo this cord. This may take me a second to wrap it up here, but still, same philosophy. I'm taking it and I make the loop a little bit bigger. That way the thickness at the end is not going to be too much for the Velcro. All right, there you go. So now that's ready to go in the bag. The reason that I'm doing this stuff, guys, is because I want you to see what happens when you manage your, when you actually throw some management on your cables. Because I don't know about you, but a long time ago when I first started, I pretty much just took the cables and shoved them right down into the bag. Not gonna lie, didn't have any type of formula and anything for me to be able to get, to put these cables and everything up. I pretty much just took it, shoved it in the bag. What happened was the next gig, I'm sitting there looking for a cord and I've got a whole nest of just cords, 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 cords. And if you don't, if you can actually spend 20 minutes trying to find the other end of another cord because you didn't take the time to actually just wrap them up and manage it. It's really, really simple. And it takes no time and stuff at the end of the night. By the end of the night when I'm taking down, I actually wrap all the cords and everything first to get them ready to go in the bag and I already have them ready to go. So I'm taking each cord in the night, you see me in the night going just like this, putting the Velcro on, sitting it right down and getting it ready for the bag to be able to put in. I wanted you guys to believe me when I say I do this. So here's my bag and everything right here. You can see it's a whole bunch of cables, a whole bunch of cords, but the one thing that you can say that you can do in here is if you needed an XLR, I've already got it managed. If you got an XLR, it's already managed. You need a power plug, already managed. Everything already managed in the bag. I'm not just telling you just to tell you. I'm actually practicing what I preach. And this would allow you to be able to hold on to some cords for a very long time. Also been waiting for these Velcros and everything to come in. I've been lazy in getting them because I want to do the wire management and stuff on my power surge protector. So what I've been doing and stuff with the power surge protector it's pretty much at the end of the night, wrapping it up and then rolling it through the cord here. That's just a trick of the trade you could use. But now that I have some of these guys, it is definitely a must. And there you go. So now when I pull out the power cord on a power surge, I've already got it wire managed and it's ready to go. There we go. Want to do it on both of them. So I got both of them here. So they're ready to go. So these Velcro ties actually come in super, super handy. I'll list these in the link and everything below so you guys can check them out. I believe this is like a five straps a piece and I believe that 250 or 298 or something like that each, but it is well worth the investment for this. Do not miss your opportunity to be able to prolong the longevity of your cords. Very important. All right, so that is pretty much part one of the series. Now, it wasn't a long part on here because managing is actually not the hard part. Connecting and cleaning is gonna be the hard part. So next time we'll work on connecting and I'll show you how to connect some of these cords up 
show you what they do and what their purpose and everything is. Again, I appreciate the guys at Hosa for sponsoring this particular video. If you guys like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. As well as if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel while you have the opportunity, man. I told you, we got a lot of good information and everything here for you. You guys ask me a lot of questions and stuff on some of my other platforms, and so I wanna answer some of those with some of these videos. Also, make sure you ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out my next video. Thank you to the guys at Hosa for hooking your boy up with some cables. We'll see you again on part two. All right, guys, and if you don't know, now you know. Peace.